Later today, St. John's County will hold its first open house where people can help shape the area's future. So this focuses on a proposed 25-year plan designed to keep up with the county's booming growth. As News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews explains, the county has changed a whole lot over the past 25 years. St. John's County is one of the fastest growing counties here in Florida and county commissioners want residents to have a say in how the county grows over the next 25 years. The comprehensive plan will help guide the area's future, creating what county leaders are calling a 2050 planning horizon. It will include long range goals for transportation, housing, infrastructure, recreation and coastal conservation. Nothing will be set in stone and the plan will be reevaluated and updated at least once every seven years with continued feedback from the community. Don't feel like your, you know, your voice or your vote, right? That they, we've all heard that. You wrote, don't feel like it doesn't count. It does and it matters. And I hear a lot of frustration from people that think that, oh, they won't listen to me. And as a staff member for St. John's County, we don't want to hear that. We, we, we want them to provide us with feedback so we have that, that, baseline of this is what people care about. Today's open house will be at the county auditorium in St. Augustine. There are two sessions. The first runs from 10 to noon. The second is tonight from 530 to 730. Commissioners plan to hold at least one more open house this summer. If you can't make it to either session, there is an online survey. The deadline to complete it is July 31st. Now, once you get to that survey's website, this is what you'll want to go to. You'll click Idea Wall, and here it will ask you, what is your vision for the future of St. John's County? There are nearly 200 suggestions. Some of those include adding a new fire station along State Road 13, bike paths that are separated from the road, as well as a competing suggestion to embrace development and slow down growth. Now we have a link to this page on our station website, newsforjax.com. Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.